Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the first um, exercise in lesson 14, binary search algorithm in Codility. It's called min-max division and I'll get straight into it. Okay, you're given integers k and m and a non-empty array a consisting of n integers. Every element of the array is not greater than m. You should divide the array into k blocks of consecutive elements. The size of the block is any integer between 0 and n. Every element of the array should belong to some block. The sum of a block from x to y equals ax to ax plus 1 up to ay. The sum of an empty block equals 0. The large sum is the maximum sum of any block. For example, you're given integers k is 3, m is 5, and array a is this. And the array can be divided, for example, into the following blocks. Okay, so we want to divide the array into k blocks, and k is 3. So we can divide it into 2, 1, 5, 1, 2, 2, 2, which is the whole array, and two empty blocks with a large sum of 15. So the largest sum is 3, 8, 9, 30, 40, 15. It's 15, okay. So the whole array adds up to 15. If we divide it into 2, 1, 5, 1, 2, and 2, 2, the large sum is 9. That's 2, that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's four. If we divide it into two on five, an empty block, and one, two, 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 the large sum is eight. And if we divide it into two on five, one, and two, 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 the large sum is six. Five, one, two, 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 both add up to six. The goal is to minimize the large sum in the above example 6 is a minimum large sum um, yeah that seems right because that needs to be at least 5 yeah okay now a write a function that given our integers k m and a non-empty array a consisting of n integers returns a minimum large sum for example, given k is 3, m is 5, and that array, the function should return 6, as explained above. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n and k are integers between 1 and 100,000. m is an integer between 0 and 10,000. And each element of array a is in the range of 0 to m. Okay, so I'm just going to set up the class now and see then what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've just set that up there with the example in the exercise 151222k is 3, m is 5. Okay, so um, if you're not sure, so this uh, section is about uh, binary um, binary search algorithm. Uh, now, the way this works is you start if you have to like guess a number between one and a hundred, and if you guess a number, you'll be told whether your the answer is higher or lower. Um, what you would guess is 50 right in the middle and if you're told the number is lower you go in the middle of the lower range to 25 and you'd home in on the number that way that's pretty efficient because your each step is is going to be at least half as far as the previous step um, now because we have to split the array into two places uh, we're not going to be able to do a binary search on the the places where we can split but I think we can do it on the answer so we can start off with um, the uh, proposed answer of the uh, minimum sum and then we can home in on the best answer 
So the minimum value is going to be, it says that M is the maximum value that can be in the array and that can be up to 10,000 but I don't think it says that the array necessarily contains M. So the minimum value is going to be the maximum value in the array and the maximum value is going to be the sum of the whole array. So first I'm going to work those out. So I'll start off saying minimum value is zero, maximum value is zero, and then I'm going to loop through the array. And the maximum value we want to be the sum of the array, so I'll add the value onto that. The minimum value we want to be the maximum value in the array. So it's going to be the maximum between what it is already and that value. So in this example, I think I've missed off a value from there, 2151222, 2151222. Two. So the maximum value is going to be 15, the minimum value because the maximum value in here is five and it has to go into a block. So the minimum value is gonna be five. Now, what I'm gonna do is work out our midpoint. So in our example of picking a number from one to 100, our midpoint would be 50. So our midpoint at this point is gonna be the minimum plus the maximum over two. And now I want to make a method that's going to take, so we're going to guess our midpoint. I want to take our method, which is going to take our midpoint and work out how many blocks we can divide with that being the minimum sum of each block. So I'm going to make another method, private int check block, check blocks. We're going to pass it away and we're going to pass it our guess value. So um, we need, we're going to have to divide into at least one block. And I'm going to make a sum of the block that we're currently in. So I'll call that block sum. And we'll start, so we're currently in block number one and the sum of it is zero then I'm going to loop through our array and block sum I'm going to add a onto it now, if so if we're guessing um, a value so let's guess say four uh, so we're going to add two on then we're going to add three on and then we're going to add well it has to be at least five but it, the next value is going to overflow this block sum so block sum is going to end up being bigger than our guess value and if that happens we want to set block sum to just this value and add one onto the blocks and then we return the number of blocks. So um, I can't do four because it won't fit, but if we do five, so this will run through the first time, it will add two, uh, we've got one block, it will loop around, it will add the one, still one block, we'll add the five and get to eight. So we've overflown our guess of five, so it will set block sum to just five and move on to block two and keep looping like that until we've counted the number of blocks that we can split into with this guess. Okay, so I would say in blocks here is check blocks in our AOA with a guess which is going to be our mid value. Now if the number of blocks is greater than k, which is how many blocks we've got to split it into, 
then uh, what does that mean? That means that our midpoint is definitely too low a value. So I'm going to take mid is definitely too low. So if we've guessed 50 um, from 1 to 100, then we know now the value is in the range of 51 to 100. So I'm going to say minimum equals mid plus 1. Otherwise, blocks is less than k and we can split it into this number of blocks um, right so it's possible that we're at the right answer here so I'm going to make a value here best answer and a best answer I'm going to initialize it to maximum but here I want to move the other way so in here I've moved minimum up to mid plus one here I'm going to loop move maximum down to mid minus one but also I'm going to consider this answer so if mid is less than the best so far then best answer then best answer equals mid Okay, now I just want to keep looping through this, um, looping through this loop until minimum is greater than maximum because then we've crossed over and we know our best answer is, is final. So while minimum is less than or equal to maximum, We can keep looping and when we get to the end here best answer should be our result so I'm going to test that out um, I'm just going to debug that with the um, example exercise well let's see if it works first run as six yeah that's correct so we've got one, two, three. Okay, so now I'll debug and see. Just double check it's doing what I think it's doing. So the minimum value is the maximum value in the whole way. I'm just I'm confident that that bit's working, but the minimum value is five, which is the maximum value in the way, and the maximum value is 15. Yeah, best answer is 15. Right, so minimum is five, maximum is 15. So our midpoint, we want to be 10 blocks in 10. So we have two, one, five, that's eight, nine, and then we're gonna overspill onto 10 there and go two, four, six. So we'll have two blocks. We start off a block one with a block sum of zero. We add the two it equals two. We haven't spilled over. We add the one it equals three. Not spilled over. Add the five equals eight. Not spilled over. Add the one equals nine. Not spilled over. Add the two. Now we've got eleven. We've spilled over. So our new block starts with that two and we add one onto the blocks then we add the next two to it that's four it's not spilled over six not spilled over and we've counted two blocks so blocks equals two blocks is not greater than k so we want to move our max value down to below mid so maximum value is now 9 but the guess of 10 was a valid solution because we could have split that into one that and then had an empty block on the end or anywhere for that matter but that but 10 is a valid answer so best answer started as 15 
and I'll move it down to 10. Right now, where are we? We're, we're going to look at values between 5 and 9. Our midpoint is 7. Uh, from 7, we can get 1, 2, 3. So this is also a valid answer. So we get 3. It's not greater than K. So we move max down to 6. And now we have a new best answer, which is 7. Now we're going to look from 5 to 6. Midpoint is 5. Uh, with 5, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So blocks equals 4. That's greater than K, so we're going to move our minimum down. Now minimum is 6. And maximum is 6. Well, minimum is less than or equal to maximum. Yeah, so they haven't crossed over, so we're still going. And now our midpoint is going to be 6. 6 is also going to work, so we have 1, 2, 3. So blocks equals 3. Blocks is not greater than K, so this is also a valid answer. Um, we're going to move maximum down to mid minus one. That's going to terminate our while loop. But this six is also a good answer. So that's less than best answer. So the answer is six. And that's our result. So I think I'm going to submit that and see how that does. run the test there's no imports to do oh uh, compiler error um, I do I just need to terminate that method yeah. when the test it should pass the um, example I uh, just check the corner cases n and k Uh, what's that? And ends the number of um, values in the array. K is how many want we want to split it into. Um, so 100,000 is the limit. So we should pretty quickly home in 50,000, 25, 12 and a half. It should pretty quickly get there. M is an integer from 0 to 10,000. Now, I didn't use M, although I was thinking of using M for the minimum value, but it did. It doesn't say that we've definitely got a value of M in our array. It says each element of array A is an integer within the range of 0 to M. I think they've tried to confuse us by giving us M when we don't even need it, because we might have thought that we definitely had an M. We might have used M as our minimum value, but there may have been no M in there. Okay, so I'm going to submit that and see how it gets on. And 100% seems to take quite a long time to evaluate that. So I think it threw some pretty big, um, probably some pretty big arrays at it. And is 100,000, 100,000, yeah. Okay, so that's my solution to Codility's min-max division. Thanks for watching.